Dear ladies and gentlemen, this video tutorial is about codefullylocky.club pop-up windows. As you see, they do not display any specific uh, information worth paying attention to. However, they indicate this text. Just one more step, allow to continue. Well, if you are careful enough, you will surely uh, ignore these uh, statements by codefullylocky.club, but unfortunately some people have actually clicked on this allow button, and obviously this was a very serious mistake that caused a lot of problems. When people agree with this uh, misleading proposal by codefullylocky.club alert, they actually end up uh, hijacking their browser. The browser gets hijacked with intrusive push notifications that start randomly attacking your screen and distracting your attention essentially. So do not click on allow. If you have done that by mistake, we need to fix the issue immediately. Clicking the allow button starts displaying a lot of unwanted ads and they point your browser to many third-party websites. So I recommend you, well, first of all I'm going to show you how to deactivate these pop-ups manually. Go to the browser menu, click on settings, now choose site settings and notifications. Now in the allow area find this questionable website causing the trouble and click on this button and choose remove. So this is the manual way to fix your computer and I also recommend you to additionally scan your Mac with Combo Cleaner antivirus that you may get on the website combocleaner.com. It's important because uh, those pop-ups could initially be the result of some adware in your Mac. So checking your Mac's safety with Combo Cleaner is a great idea and it's very important, I believe. So uh, go to the website combocleaner.com, download Combo Cleaner program and click on Start Combo Scan button. So the scanning by Combo Cleaner antivirus for Mac has been ended and now it's time to review the results. Check the antivirus area and click on the Review Results link. The report will display uh, each thread and will also show its location. So you may click on this icon to show the location of the thread in Finder and then you may right-click on each specific thread and decide to move it to the trash. So you may do it with each specific thread manually by right-clicking on the thread and moving it to the trash. Or you may do it automatically, however, only with the premium version of the program.